What's going on, guys? If you've ever seen these all billet aluminum Westling socket rails, they're pretty awesome. They are very strong. They look like they're about a quarter inch thick. I cannot make it bend or flex whatsoever. They are very strong. I've had this about three weeks now, and I've taken it everywhere in the shop with me when I'm not at my main box. And I keep a whole set of shallow and deeps on there. And there has been a couple times one of these pins have came out and luckily I didn't lose it and I just tapped them back in with a hammer real hard and they haven't fell back out. So I'm not going to make that a complaint. Things happen. That's all right. But there's only one thing I wish Westling did change about this product line. How come they do not make magnetic versions? I feel like you could drill a hole in there and run a magnet in there or put a round magnetic ring down on the bottom of the pin. And then whenever you put a socket on there, they're all stuck on there a lot better. You know how awesome that would be? Westling, if you're watching this video, I promise I'd be the first person to buy it if you came out with it. All right, here's what it looks like with some sockets on it. Uh, this metric set I got from eight up to 22. I still have another pin on each side so I can put some sevens in there or go up to a 24 if I wanted. But I so far really like it. I like how low profile it is sitting in your toolbox. I love the color. I mean, I like how strong it is. You know, it's not like a plastic one where they'll bend or sag. I don't ever see this thing sagging or bending whatsoever. It's very strong and, well, see? That right there is why they need magnets, right there.